Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you this awesome little new app that just came out and it's called Stixer that will allow you to keep and organize all of your digital stickers in a really cool way. Okay, so the app I'm talking about is called Stixer. This is the one. And I actually have worked on this a lot. I have added almost all of my stickers, not quite all of them because I have a ton, including all of the sticker books and sticker sets from Printstick. But I have added already so many and I actually have a separate video where I talk about a different method of organizing stickers. But the method that has been working really well for me is this one, which is to create categories for your stickers so the categories that work for you you know the ones that you will be looking for and that's exactly what i have done here so each one of these images here is actually a folder that includes more folders or more images more digital stickers and so i label them the name of what each category has so as you can see i have arrows badges banners etc I'll show you when you click on a category, for example, animals. This one is very simple. I just have stickers of animals inside that category, so nothing complicated. I have my animals folder, and then inside this folder, I have animal stickers. However, there are other more complicated categories, such as dates, and I'll tell you more about this one in a little bit. And the awesome thing about this app is that you can select a cover per folder. So I'm gonna just create a new folder just to um, show you, I'm gonna label it sample and it should be down here. As you can see, it has the standard purple cover and but you can change this really easily and I'll show you how in a second. I just wanted to show you this is what a brand new folder looks like, but you can customize them and add the image that will allow you to visually locate what you're looking for. And as I was gonna show you, dates is very interesting. So I'm gonna open this folder and what happens here, these are all other folders that are saved inside my main dates folder. So as you can see, I have a ton of different styles of numbers. I have countdown stickers here. I have some squares and I have my days of the week and months. This might look weird right now, but it'll make sense in one second when I start showing you what's inside of each folder. So for example, when I open my undated planner and I look for weekday labels to start dating my planner, I can just open my dates folder and then whichever style I want or color, for example, I want some pink weekdays, then I tap on this Thursday and then this is a folder that opens and actually contains all of the days of the week. And I'll show you real quick the way that this would work is I'm gonna open my planner right here and I will just drag, let's start with Monday, I will just tap and drag my sticker to place whatever I needed. So obviously this planner already has the days of the week. Actually Monday goes over here. That's how this app works. You can organize your stickers very neatly here. Then you can open split screen view and paste your stickers to any app. So I'm gonna go back and show you another example. So as I said, these are the days of the week. I also have the months here. What I did is I just added all of the months with different colors. So this is a folder that has months in a ton of different colors. I have not separated them yet like I did with the weekdays. So when I open this, I just have many styles and same thing with the numbers. So this I do use a lot, this option of the number folders because it's so easy to see the style that you want or you know to find a style that you're looking for because as you can see i can see the color and the style of the numbers themselves without needing to read the folder and really the way i label my folders here is just what makes it convenient so the folders i want to see first i add an a in the beginning for example i want my months to be first in this list so i add an a before the name of each folder that contains the months and then I make sure that all of my numbers stay together so it's easy to find. Once I find a style that I like, I will just tap on that folder and then I'll have all of the numbers here ready to use. Again, I'm gonna show you if I go to, let's say, my November monthly spread, which I have not dated yet. So I will just like drag the stickers right here 
so I'm using this is good notes but the awesome thing is that once you organize all of your stickers on this left side then you can use them on any app because as you know print sticks um, stickers and widgets come in good notes format so if you are using good notes that's the best option because they are ready to use you don't have to organize them yourself they're already organized for you but if you are using good notes and another app or another app altogether like notability or note shell for some notes then this method will allow you to use all of the stickers that you have already organized okay so then here, once you pass all of the numbers that you want, you can just resize them and start arranging them. I'm sorry, this is probably not the correct order of the days. I'm not really checking the calendar. I just wanted to show you how you can add all of these stickers and use them. But once you like the color of, of the numbers that you're using, then you can just copy this whole thing and paste them onto the next spread so you don't have to tap and drag all of them each time. But anyway, so going back to the app, I want to show you more categories I have. So once again, I label the folders that I need at the top. I add an A to the beginning of the label. So A arrows, A badges, and so on. So that ensures that the categories that I use the most or that I use every time that I'm decorating a planner go to the top, right? And then below here, I have decorative stickers or more specific stickers for other subjects. So I have emojis or my medical stickers or for example, this kisses set. So I just made them into their own category. I have my office category. And this is really all stickers that I would use to decorate my pages. They're not really functional stickers, I feel. And the ones that I use like always, like my boxes, checklist, those come at the top. I have my shapes here that I divided in subfolders that say basic shapes and then I have all of these basic shapes then I have all of the backgrounds for my numbers and this actually comes from the date sticker book it's the backgrounds to use with the numbers so you can create your own sticker combinations and actually that book the date sticker book is so big it took me a while to pass all of the stickers onto here and most of the stickers that you see on my dates folder are actually from there. Not all of them are, they're from other sticker albums as well, but many of them are from that book. And then I just pass them onto here. And having all of your stickers divided this way actually allows you to see all of the stickers that you have like at once. So that's useful too with this app. You do get to see everything that you have. Okay, I don't wanna make this super long. So I'm just gonna show you how to create a folder subfolders and add stickers and covers to your folders. So here I created a folder. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to tap on this first icon on the right side and then I can just label this folder. Okay, create. Right now I have all of my folders set to be organized um, alphabetically. So that's, you know, if I'm looking for folder and I'm at the A, I know that folder is going to be a little lower right here. And of course, it's the only one that has the purple cover for now. And then I'm gonna open my folder. I'm gonna go to my plus sign to add stickers. And then you have different options like Google Drive, Dropbox, your Photos app and the Files app. And me personally, I've been using the Files app a lot because I can just upload all of my stickers to iCloud. You know, I bought the extra storage option from Apple. So I have a ton of room and I feel like it's a pretty safe option to keep your files as well as, you know, it syncs really well across devices. So this is very easy for me to use. So you just go here and I actually have like a folder that says stickers. Okay, so this is a good chance to show you why I prefer Stixer so much. Because by selecting a cover for the folders, you really get to find what you're looking for a lot quicker and visually, at least that works really well for me. So I very much love that option of adding the covers to each folder. But anyway, so I'm gonna go to a sticker book. I'm gonna show you. And actually, these are some covers that I created for the sticker books that exist from Printstick. And if you want these covers, let me know and I'll upload them to the group so you can add these covers to your app. And I'll show you in a second how they look. But anyway, let's import mini sticker book B. So I'm just going to tap on it. And actually, I saved all of the folders that contain the PNGs included with every book or set from Printstick. 
So that's the version that you need to add to Stixer. You need the version of the stickers that are all individual PNG images saved in the zip folder. So before opening, you need to unzip those folders because this app is not capable of unzipping for you. So you have to go to your files app first, make sure that the folder is extracted or decompressed, and then you will be able to find your stickers here. Okay, then I'm just gonna click on select select all and open okay so here i have all of the stickers that make the mini sticker book b that i just added and i'm just gonna go organize them by name okay so that the stickers now are organized in a way that make more sense okay now from here, what I have been doing is once I download a sticker book, I move all of the stickers to their corresponding categories. And this is so that I can find them easier. This again is what works for me. If you prefer to keep all of your stickers divided by set or by album or by shop, you can do that. And I do have another video where I show how you can do it. So I'm going to link it below when it's ready. So once I have all of these stickers, for example, I'm going to select the food items and send them to my food folder. So I'm going to tap on this second icon here, the little like finger, and that allows me to select stickers or images. So I'm going to tap on the pineapple, on the avocado, and actually, is that it? I have a banana, some popsicle here drink, watermelon, a few more fruits. I think this is a fruit, I'm not sure. I think so. so I'm just gonna select it as well. I think that's it for the food, yeah? So once I have selected all of the stickers that I want to move, I tap on this icon again, and then I get to see all of the folders that I have created already. And now I cannot see the cover, but that's okay because I, have, I can see the label, so I know which is which. So I'm going to uh, scroll until I find my food folder. I'm going to open it. And actually, I have divided this into subfolders already. I'm not sure where they're going. So I'm just going to go back to the main um, folders so I can select food. But this time, I'm going to click on this icon and that will move the stickers to this folder. So OK. Great. Now I'm going to go to my food folder. And that has this icon here. Very easy to recognize. So I tap there and here are the new stickers that I have just imported and I have not yet categorized. And as you can see, I have other ones that are also loose stickers in here, but I also have some folders that are already categorized. For example, here I have pastries or desserts really. So I have donuts and pastries and cupcakes. And so what I'm gonna do with these fruits, I don't know if I have a fruit category, I think not. So if I want, I can just create a new folder, label it fruits, create. Now I select my fruit stickers, click on this icon again, and then find my foods uh, folder, and then find the fruits folder, which is right here. So I click on this icon, okay. And then I'm going to open this fruits folder. Here are my brand new fruit stickers. And to quickly recognize this folder, I can create a cover. And to do that, you see these little stars next to the, um, to the stickers. You just have to tap on one of them and that sticker will become the cover of that folder. So when I go back, and look for that folder. As you can see, now I have this sticker. And this is a bad example because this is so messy. I have not arranged all of these stickers yet. So it's kind of hard to find because I have a ton of stuff. But once I categorize it, it's going to be a lot easier. Let me see if I have a folder that's better arranged. For example, I think sports, I have arranged enough. So I have my main folder, which is called sports. I tap here and then I have my subcategories for the different sports. So I have soccer and I tap here and I have my soccer related stickers where I have the baseball ones, basketball. And as you can see, each one of those folders has its own cover so I can quickly recognize which is the one that I'm looking for.
Okay guys, so that's a little intro to this brand new app called Stixer. You can go check it out. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, this app is free to download. However, when you just download it, you get a 20 folder limit. And after that, you have to make a purchase of $2 to unlock unlimited folders. In my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. But the good thing is that you can test this app before purchasing first to see if you like it. And if you do, then you can go ahead and make the purchase to have unlimited folders. All right, so I hope you learned something new today. I really hope you enjoy this app. I have been playing with it so much and I'm so happy with it because I have been trying new apps now, not just GoodNotes, but I've been trying a note shelf and even Notability for my planning. And now I know that all of the effort that goes into organizing my stickers is not lost when I decide to use a different planning app. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. If you do try this app, please let me know in a comment below what you think about it. Or if you have any questions, also drop me a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit on that bell button so you're notified whenever there's a new video. Thank you so much, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.